Megan Lex here. Hey everyone. How is it going guys? So tonight, Woo! tonight, <laughs> um, so actually today, uh, today in the morning we posted a, po a poll mm -hmm. of all the great um, prog rock piano players or keyboard players and obviously uh, Rick Wakeman is winning. Between and like... Lick. <laughs> Rick Wakeman and Keith and Keith Emerson, yeah, right, and of course Tony Banks, which is my favorite, um, and we also uh, uh, Richard Wright of Pink Floyd mm -hmm. is one of my favorites as well. Mm -hmm. But we have to give credit where credit is due. Jordan Rudis is absolute a monster, mm -hmm. and he's just like, and it's kind of, I guess, I understand why. Most of our fans don't know him because he's from a different generation. Mm -hmm. I think he's just 10 years after, like, yes and rush. And but he, so, uh, basically, we uh, we thought we owed it to you guys to, to show you show you this amazing guy, and maybe you become a fan. Um, he's uh been with the <laughs> band Dream Theater and Liquid Tension since 1999, but he has about I think 18 solo albums. 15 albums with dream theater i think or wow. and about 50 albums where he just been a guest he has played with everyone from that list mm -hmm. i mean from the likes of keith emerson and, and genesis and i mean he has played with them all but i think a lot of people just don't know him because like us we would never leave our comfort zone exactly we were listening to guys like jordan brutus to guys like alan holtz exactly. to guys like Iron Maiden. So, and when we left that comfort zone, we discovered bands like Rush and Yes and, mm -hmm. and ELP and stuff. So, basically, this is like a reversal that we wanted to show you guys what this guy was made of. And here yes. we have a little solo. And after the solo, we'll also post him in context with the band. So here you in can see him. In a separate video. Yeah, in a separate video. Mm -hmm. Here you can we can you can see him just playing a solo, but the other video is with the band playing an instrumental so yes so hopefully this helps not that we're saying that we like don't like the others but oh, no. i think we were just shocked of so many people in the comments saying jordan who yeah. or who's that guy or oh you know we, we like, have a what? bunch of great uh players and then he's 66 like, oh, okay 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 <laughs> no no he's 66 years old and yeah. usually i mean if you're like into more prog metal be uh, he i mean he isn't he's a prog rock player mm -hmm. but he's also in a prog metal band right so maybe that's why you missed it but that's why you guys should get more into metal yes. it's not and that's uh, why we also need to do more dream theater alan right alan <laughs> alan alanese uh, i guess he's kind of like you are. come out <laughs> but yeah no we just wanted to share you know i mean this channel is all about sharing we're not saying he's any better or anything yes, on the that's contrary. that's what I wanted to say. Like I said, my favorite one is Tony Banks. Uh, and my, I think, second favorite one is uh, Richard Wright by Pink Floyd. But when it comes to virtuosity, I have to give it to Jordan Rudis uh, because he's just incredible. Yeah. But here we go with a solo. Uh, this was played in 1999, uh, Life in New York. And then we're going to show you later a uh, piece called... Well, in the other solo, we'll explain. Yes. In the other video, we'll explain. Okay. So here goes. This Yay. is not the best quality, but it's as good as we can could find it. Here okay. we go. Yes.
attention. So we're this halfway is through. His hands look like giant spiders. I know. Just like crawling I saw some through comments. the. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It was so cool. We we saw him live, mm -hmm. and it was just a, what he does. He even like puts the. He has his like keyboard on a stand, and the stand just goes up, and then he plays like this, so mm -hmm. people can see. And his keyboard looked like a house. Yeah, he they always were moves. Around. He has like a keyboard that moves. He can move around it. Um, so it's very, it's very cool. And now he's bald. He's completely bald so and has a goatee like this long. So we, we'll see him in the other video, but it's cool to see him with hair yeah, too. Yeah, I've never seen him with hair, <laughs> honestly. But yeah, no, so it's a trip. This uh, is wonderful. I, I Like I said, I love that he's, I did, actually didn't think that he was playing pieces from actual songs i thought it was kind of like all improvised, improvised or yeah. like a little medley that he put together but i is, think it is i mean there was a little bit of mozart yeah. do, 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 it's definitely very I classical think. and very like uh -huh. um uh yeah you can hear the baroqueness or yeah. you know yeah like, it's very classical uh it has some yeah, all, all kinds of stuff. Now he's changing it up, I yeah. think, here a little bit more electric, and then he's going to go all, all out. But uh, I hope you enjoy, and let's keep going. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
said. I know. It sounds trippy. Jordan Rudis, um, a little taste of what he can do. I know um, it's a lot to take in, I guess, but uh, it's really good. It, I mean. it is. I love how he showed different styles of things that you can do with a keyboard. It definitely did turn more electronic near yeah. the end and sounded very ELP-ish. Yeah. Um, obviously, because that was the sound and the distortion. Of on course, it. that's who he's inspired by. I'm sure all of these guys that were on the poll. So, this was great. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I knew that he was a master because I'm I'm familiar a little bit with what Nick has shown me and. Yeah. We did go see them live um, and, and see him in action. And I do remember that keyboard very well. It was all <laughs> over the place and very big. Yeah. Um, so I hope that you guys, that we shed some light on 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 what a great player yeah, he is. Now you don't you have to say Jordan who. Now you can at least, you can like him, dislike him, yes. whatever you want. You know, mm -hmm. uh, music is all subjective, yes, you know, so exactly. uh, you, you make up your mind but at least we wanted to share yes and we hope you did enjoy it yes we're gonna make another video right now of dream the, theater of dream theater with the band let's see what you think go check but that out thank you guys for being <laughs> here and we'll see you in the next bye one. everyone bye